click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends let us understand how to prepare trend balance sheet based on horizontal balance sheet given in the question let us read the question Messrs Sudesh Limited carrying on business furnishes their position as on 31st December 2011 2012 and 2013 as under now see we are required to prepare vertical trend balance sheet and also we are required to offer comments on net worth and working capital so this is the horizontal balance sheet they have given in the question which we are required to convert first in vertical format then we are required to prepare trend part of the statement and then finally we are required to offer the comments equity share capital this will be part of share capital shareholders fund preference share capital share capital general reserve reserves and surplus secured loan part of borrowed funds sundry creditors current liabilities bills payable current liabilities fixed assets that will be the first part of application of funds investments long term investments debtors current asset stock current asset advances paid current asset cash current asset bank balance current asset discount on issue of shares fictitious assets this will be deducted from reserves and surplus let us prepare the format mr sudesh limited trend analysis of balance sheet in format we are required to keep one column for each year to show absolute amounts as well as one column for each year to show trend amounts that is percentage balance sheet will start with first part sources of funds there we have first item shareholders fund in shareholders fund we have first item share capital here we have equity share capital and preference share capital equity capital is 3 lakhs 3 lakhs and 4 lakhs preference share capital 2 lakhs 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs 50000 we can add these values to arrive at total share capital total share capital 5 lakhs 5 lakhs and 6 lakh 50000 to this we are required to add reserves here we have general reserve 50000 1 lakh and 1 lakh from this we are required to deduct fictitious asset that is discount on issue of shares 25000 10000 and 5000 after deducting fictitious asset we got net reserves 25000 90000 95000 this will be added to the amount of total share capital to arrive at shareholders fund shareholders fund we got 5 lakh 25000 5 lakh 90000 7 lakh 45000 to this we are required to add borrowed funds here we have secured loan that is a amount of borrowed funds we can add now shareholders fund and borrowed funds to arrive at total capital employed it is 6 lakh 25000 6 lakh 90000 7 lakh 95000 we have completed first part of balance sheet let us proceed for the second part application of funds there first we have fixed assets fixed assets 3 lakhs 3 lakhs 4 lakhs next we have long term investments 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh in working capital first part we have current assets that is first we are required to consider quick current assets debtors quick current asset cash quick current asset bank balance 
क्विक करंट एसेट स्टॉक एंड एडवांस इज पेड आर नॉन क्विक करंट एसेट्स सो वी गॉट टोटल नॉन क्विक करंट एसेट्स वन लैख वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वन लैख नाउ वी कैन एड क्विक एंड नॉन क्विक करंट एसेट्स सो वी गॉट टोटल करंट एसेट्स टू लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड थ्री लैख नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फ्रॉम दिस वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिडक्ट करंट लाइबिलिटीज इन करंट लाइबिलिटीज वी हैव सन्ड्री क्रेडिटर्स बिल्स पेएबल बोथ आर क्विक करंट लाइबिलिटीज टोटल करंट लाइबिलिटीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वन लैख एंड वन लैख नाउ फ्रॉम टोटल करंट एसेट्स विल डिडक्ट टोटल करंट लाइबिलिटीज टू अराइव एट नेट वर्किंग कैपिटल सो वी गॉट नेट वर्किंग कैपिटल टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड एंड टू लैख नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड नाउ वी कैन अराइव एट टोटल एसेट्स दैट इज फिक्स एसेट प्लस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस वर्किंग कैपिटल सो टोटल एसेट्स इज सिक्स लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड सेवन लैख नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दीज अमाउंट्स आर एक्जैक्टली मैचिंग विथ टोटल कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड सिक्स लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड सेवन लैख नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड वी हैव प्रिपेर्ड वर्टिकल बैलेंस शीट नाउ वील प्रिपेर ट्रेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट हियर बेस इयर विल बी टू थाउजेंड लेवन एंड करेंट इयर विल बी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड देन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो इन बेस इयर टू थाउजेंड लेवन वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू एज्यूम ऑल अमाउंट्स equal to rupees 100 equity 100 preference 100 total share capital 100 reserves 100 fictitious assets 100 net reserves Hundred shareholders fund, hundred secured loan, hundred total capital employed, hundred fixed assets, hundred investments, hundred debtors, hundred cash, hundred bank balance, hundred. Total quick current assets hundred, stock hundred, advances paid hundred, total non quick current asset hundred, total current assets hundred, creditors hundred, bills payable hundred, total current liabilities hundred, net working capital hundred, total assets hundred. Now we are required to calculate figures for 2012 and 2013. Here the formula is figure of current year absolute that is 2012 for example equity three lakhs divided by base year figure that is three lakhs multiplied by hundred. Current year figure divided by base year figure multiplied by Hundred equity share capital base year three lakhs current year three lakh and four lakhs two thousand twelve current year three lakh base year also three lakhs multiplied by hundred so answer will be hundred percent. In two thousand thirteen current year four lakh. Base year three lakhs multiplied by hundred, it will be hundred and thirty three point three three percent. So here in two thousand twelve column, we'll be putting hundred. Two thousand thirteen, hundred and thirty three point three three percent. Next we have preference share capital. Base year preference share capital is two lakhs. Current year also two lakhs for two thousand twelve multiplied by hundred, so it will be hundred percent. 
2013 current year preference capital 250000 base year 2 lakhs multiplied by 100 it will be 125 so here will be recording 100 and here 125 now same procedure will follow figure in current year divided by figure in base year column multiplied by 100 in case of general reserve it will be 100 200 200 discount on issue 100 40 20 we have used formula and we got the various values like as i have explained you equity and preference general reserve it is 100 200 200 Discount on issue hundred forty twenty, net reserves hundred three sixty three eighty, shareholders fund hundred hundred and twelve point three eight hundred and forty one point nine zero, secured loans hundred hundred fifty, capital employed hundred hundred and ten point four hundred and twenty seven point two, fixed assets hundred 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 and thirty three point three three, investment hundred hundred hundred. Current assets, debtors hundred, one fifty, two hundred, cash hundred, 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 bank balance hundred, one sixty, one eighty. Total quick assets hundred, one thirty seven point one four, one sixty eight point five seven. Non quick hundred, two hundred, hundred stock advance paid hundred, hundred, hundred. Total non quick current asset hundred, one fifty, hundred. Total current asset hundred one forty one point eight two one forty three point six four. Current liabilities creditors hundred two hundred two hundred bills payable hundred two hundred two hundred. Total current liabilities hundred two hundred two hundred. Net working capital hundred one twenty eight point eight nine one thirty one point one one. Finally, total assets hundred hundred and ten point four zero hundred and twenty seven point two zero. Last part of the question says. Offer your comment on net worth and working capital. We are required to offer comments based on the trend in net worth. Net worth means shareholders fund. Here we have shareholders fund where the figure shows hundred, hundred and twelve point three eight, and hundred and forty one point nine zero. It indicates that net worth is rising. That means. Throughout the year, we find that the proportion of shareholders fund is rising compared to the previous year. Shareholders fund, that is net worth, is rising each year compared to last year. Net working capital, hundred one twenty eight point eight nine and one thirty one point one one. It indicates that amount of net working capital is increasing every year. rising net worth and rising working capital indicates that business is developing smoothly in those 3 years thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ekida and subscribe to our channel ekida thank you